All right. Make sure I'm all equipped here. Um, got all the ammo for this. We have enough ammo for this, it looks like. And we only have 11 shots for the shotguns, so... Gonna have to make them count. Um, I'm pretty sure last time we, uh, oh wait, what's this? Some extra stuff that we can look at. Um, observation report subject to cult of the tree. Summary, intermittent surveillance of the paracriminal group known as the cult of the tree shows that their operation is limited to a small area of Washington state. The group is reported to be made up of dedicated individuals equipped with only common tools. Overall level of organization is low. Overall comprehension of redacted is low. Our assessment yielded a category orange risk status. Further inquiry should be made to the exact details and sources of their knowledge preparing paranat regarding paranatural events. Investigation unit recommends the cult of the tree be kept under permanent surveillance where preparation is made for the group's arrest and seizure of assets. See file B85-21-1027 for full report and recommended action. Summary and full report to be forwarded to Dr. Marmon and Dr. Marmon at the Cauldron Lake Research Site as both operate in a shared area. <clears throat> Addendum recommended action downgraded to continued intermittent surveillance. No arrest due to prioritization of resources. Let me have a couple Rose. things to collect here. She's that waitress from the diner. What does this say? Rose Marigold observations. 6.35 a.m. leaves home and car. 6.46 a.m. arrives at Odier Diner. This is from March 21st, 2014. 7 a.m. opens a restaurant. 9.44 a.m. spills a cup of coffee, stares at coffee puddle, and seems suddenly delighted because talking animatedly to the puddle. Observer not in diner did not hear her. 11.30 a.m. she goes on break. 12.04 p.m. back from break, ate a sandwich and wrote in a notebook, couldn't see text. 1.21 p.m. stares at ceiling for fan and approximately 50 seconds smiling. 3.05 p.m. she leaves the Odier Diner on foot. 3.08 p.m. stops at pier and writes a notebook, stares at clouds and becomes upset, shaking her head and speaking up at the sky, not close enough to hear. 4.23 p.m. she leaves the pier. 4.25 p.m. arrives at car and enters. 4.34 p.m. arrives home. 4.52 p.m. she watches TV. 5.45 p.m. she cooks dinner, macaroni and cheese, watches TV while eating. 9.21 p.m. goes to bed, reads the sudden stop. 10.05 p.m. turns off light. This is one weird cult. We are the cult of the tree we watch in the night. I see it now. This is our mission to make the woods scary again. It's a tree, a spruce tree. Keep them out, keep them safe. Together we are a forest cult of the tree. Um, anything else we can look at here? Wait, you're done here. You're right, those, these sneaky fuckers are watching us and our level of organization is fine. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Um, all right. So, we have two new clues for the cult of the tree. Drug-fueled scribbles on the origin of the cult triangle symbol. We have a cult symbol. Yeah. And then report found that a rose marigold found in cult HQ. Um... Not there. Um, who's involved? There we go. And then the story clues. We still can't use that, it looks like. Um, all right. Um, What's this here? Fuse. Could come oh. in handy.
Um, before we go down the stairs into the basement, I actually, uh, since I have that fuse now, I want to see if I can use it anywhere or if it's going to come in handy when we go down into the basement. Probably likely the second option, but might as well check and see. And we have four batteries too, so we're set in that regard. Yeah, investigate the Kale Vala Knights workshop. Um, so I'm like, why do I get the feeling that like you can use a fuse somewhere? There's also a. Uh, is there anything out here that I didn't look at? There is a couple things. Some creepy laughing for atmosphere. There's your knife. I wonder what that did, if anything. That's not unsettling at all. A oh, good thing I went around here and looked around. Found some more ammo. For the shotgun. Um, there's another lunchbox. Oh, hey, nice. It must be so exciting to be the story's hero. Honestly, I'm a bit jealous. I wish I could be the protagonist or something. So it's a good thing we're investigating. Dead end. to cut this. I was going to say that toy knife probably wouldn't cut it. Can we go this way? Yes, we can. Wait, you know what that is? Okay, that makes sense. So this is where the they were blocked off before. So now we essentially just made a loop around. What the fuck did I just do? Oh, you can hit someone with the flashlight. That's cool. My finger slipped on the trigger 
and you can get, you can whack somebody with a flashlight. That's actually pretty neat. Um. Okay, I think we've done our share of investigating. Um, right, because we can't take that. Um, we looked at all of that already. Um, so I think our only logical option is to go downstairs now. Let me uh, make sure it's set here. All right, let's go. A creepy basement. I'm already hearing people on the other side. Hey! Freeze! That's the clicker. They vanished. No! They took it! Ah, oh, fuck. Get the clicker from Mulligan and Thornton. So you gotta profile them. Mulligan and Thornton are members of the cult. Who's the leader? Brains leaking out like you. The thrill of domination. Not one tree. The forest. The world. A secret like this doesn't die. There is more than one leader. Huh. Um, look at all the people we can profile now. <laughs> Or rather, the people we've profiled overall, I should say. Um, all right, uh, Trail of the Cult. Clicker was taken from the altar. The Clicker was there the whole time. Clicker was Fucking in secret Mulligan cult room Thornton. under the garage. Mulligan and Thornton beat me to it. Secret meeting room under the garage. And then how to get the clicker back. That's our next point of investigation. Alex Casey lunchboxes. Lunchbox found behind the motorcycle club in Watery. And then... Cultist room hidden beneath Ilmo's motorcycle club. Um, let's see, where would that go at? Oh, Not there. Um, there we go. We're missing a couple of clues for as to them possibly being involved. Which in hindsight is fine. Alright. took the clicker into the overlap. How do I get it back? Sis. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker, left this monster here to stop her. There's an overlap here. Sock like fights was a taken at the workshop. Mulligan and Thornton a light nightingale. Did I say Sokka? I think I did. Waiting. And a parade float is the key. I can profile uh, them again too. Let's uh, do the profiling first. Becoming taken. Mulligan and Thornton were fine earlier. How did this happen? A terrible mistake. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Shadows on their faces, filling the shape of them. 
Bright Falls fucking finest. Shitty pastrami sandwich. Mulligan and Thornton became like Nightingale. Well, now let's look at the, um, also the screen shaking too. I'll tell you, you know there's enemies above. Uh, let's listen to this. Saga had read about it. The trap. She knew what was waiting for her. The moment she saw the giant, she knew she wasn't ready. You let Logan drown. The weapon it carried could crack her skull like a brittle egg. Brains leaking out like yolk. Everything she loved, lost. Everything she was, lost. We will watch it eat your mind. Reading this made her sick. But the fear was sharp when she faced it. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there. Taken the clicker with them. Left this monster here to stop her. All right. Something's up there. Upstairs. This was a trap. Something is up there. All right, make sure I'm ready. Here goes. Oh shit. This thing's gonna jump out at me on the from the freaking right hand side, I know it. Yeah, I knew it! I fucking knew it. Like surprise attack me, huh? Is this the parade float the page mentioned? I mean, I already blatantly like started like marking it up. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. At Cauldron Lake, giving the poem the heart to the witch sign opened the overlap. Here, it's a parade float. But it's incomplete. Yep, yeah, the Koskula's parade float. Ilmo stood in front of the parade float, turned dramatically to his crew. Now, imagine the murderer's arms moving. Stab, stab, stab. And then Naki laughing. Everyone at Deerfest always plays it safe. Not us. This monument to Watery's history, this work of art will sweep this year's awards. The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. Kind of funny and let me do that beforehand. Like... The other way virtual enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. The photo proved the cult had the clicker. Thor and Odin were in it too. Worth following up on later. Logan and Thorin are in the overlap. Must complete parade float ritual to follow them. Parade float needs. What's missing from the parade float? 
I need to put it together. This is one disturbing stabbing again and again. So I already did that. that. The arm's supposed to move. Mask. How come one of them is wearing a mask and the other isn't? So this is the Coscula Brothers parade float. Looks like only four pieces are missing. The mask is the only one without a location listed. Hmm. Gift shop. Easy. Okay, we found the knife already. I can't make out what it says. Espresso Express. Got it. The... The Puklo in Coffee World. Gift shop, we found that. The mask scratched out. The motor control circuit board. Coffee World Espresso Express. So we have to go back over to Coffee World. And thankfully, we opened up that shortcut so we can. Fair trade fun zone. And uh, Coffee World, cassette tape, Coffee World, Fair Trade Fun Zone, which we also have. So the only, one, the only two we're missing is the mask and we're missing um, the motor control circuit board. So we got to go back to the Espresso Express to get that. Um, but we have the knife and we have everything else. Let's add these to the case board. The list mentions a cassette tape. This list mentions a circuit board, possible automation. Moose skull mass location is scratched out on the list. The list mentions a Puko. Character in the float looks unfinished. The float killer isn't wearing a mask. The float killer is missing mask. Maybe he needs one. Who Atari swung the knife stabbing again and again? Should the characters be moving? Circuit board controls are movement. And then got a profile the brothers again. The materials listed for the parade float mention a mask. Where is it? Poor Mocha Moose. He never felt to amuse me. No, we know, Ilmo. There is such a thing as too much coffee. Mocha will live on in a place of honor. He lost his head. Mulligan and Thornton had one job. Mulligan and Thornton must know where the moose skull mask is. So I gotta go all the way back and uh, talk to them, is what you're saying? The mask is missing. Where is it? I could just profile them. Back to life. The crown of the Grand Master. Moose steak is never a mistake. Just get it fucking done. They know where it is. I know they know. Where is the mask? Go ahead and bleach it. We all bow to him. The mall of the crumbling well. Show the bitch who's wrong. Also by the Espresso Express. The moose mask is at the Huatari Well in Coffee World. Okay, so both of those are uh, in the in Coffee World. Both by uh, one's by the Huatari Well and one's in Espresso Express. Mulligan and Thornton they murdered someone, dumped the body into Huatari Well. Logan and Thorne were responsible for the moose skull. Alright, and then obviously I guess the other clue is going to be the... Um... Okay. I saw something. Like I did in Cauldron Lake. The well, here in Coffee World. I know the moose skull will be there. So, Espresso Express. 
fair a fair trade fun zone um yeah so so who would tarry well and then espresso express let me uh it's get... here oh hey i knew it would be i made them show me Literally right by the shortcut, too. Now I need to bring the mass to the float. <laughs> the moose skull goes here, obviously. Okay. So now we need to go to the Espresso Express and uh, get the circuit board. Um, espresso Express is this way. Yep, here. No power. Must be a fuse box around here somewhere. Oh, okay, so that's what the fuse is for. Okay. Um, all right. Just gotta find where the wire goes to. Here it is. The fuse is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. There we are. Okay. I gotta Okay, so there's like a gap in between you gotta stop it at. I see now. You know what I need to do? I need to wait for it to get right back around here because it takes a couple seconds to fully stop. Now. Oh, when a plan comes through. Telling me, Saga. Oh, hey. Deputies corrupted. The killing of Monica Thompson was a terrible mistake. Thornton blamed Mulligan's itchy trigger finger. Mulligan blamed Thornton's shitty pastrami sandwich. They only agreed it wasn't their fault. No one will find her corpse. We'll hide it. They fed the body to the maw of a crumbling well. 
like the murderous Huatari brothers did long ago. They lied to everyone. The word would never get out. But a secret like this doesn't die. It grew inside them, like cancer. The darkness taking over, filling the shape of them. The moose mask appeared on the well. Logan Thornton tried to hide the mask in well, same as the body of their victim. <clears throat> All right. Coming fast. Get shouted. Terminal patients. The way I just completely ignored him altogether. Something to get those arms moving. Am I getting attacked? I was. Yeah, you got that, fam. I'll see ya. <coughs> Defeat Mulligan and Thornton. Where am I? Um. Let me heal up real quick. And then let me quick. I do not have any healing items. Well, this is going to be fun if I don't complete it in one go. I have everything I need, right? I have uh, I have enough gun ammo in the shotgun, I have the crossbow, and I have enough pistol ammo. So it should be good, but... I know they're kind of generous when it comes to, like, equipping yourself before boss battles. So hopefully we stumble upon some stuff. Another manuscript page. Deputies in the morgue. Mulligan and Thornton in the wreckage of the morgue. Shadows on their faces. Thornton did his best woman's voice. I'm a stuck-up FBI bitch. I'll make a big fucking mess and get these dumb backwater cops to clean it up. Thornton turned to his partner. These government motherfuckers. Next time, Mulligan, I'll tell her. You got no clue. You let your own kid drown. You're a fucking fraud. Mulligan leered. Pinning the murder on the bookers would have fixed this whole goddamn mess. But their kind always sticks together. I reckon we should show the bitch who's boss, Thornton. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Inside them, they grinned. I entered the watery overlap by completing the parade float. Then we have two pages that we still can't use yet. Okay. Oh, this is the, the sauna that we saw earlier. Okay. Got it. Yeah, like I said, I know they're kind of generous with the uh, the healing equipment and whatnot, so... Let's hope it's the same way here. I am loving how different this game is um, compared to the original one. Definitely a very different gameplay wise. As I'm sure probably other people have said. 
the gameplay of the original one was uh, just a uh, run and gun. This one is a lot more... Sorry. This one is a lot more focused on investigation, aside from just combat all the time, which is very, very forgiving. And I actually, I, I think this game so far is a lot better than the first game. First game, obviously, was good, but I'm liking this game a lot more. All right, well, this guy has clearly been watching Die Hard. A chunk of cold pastrami. Cavernous mother clappers. That's clearly going to be a trap. I just want to see if there's anything around here before we go down there. Now I'm not seeing anything. Are you ready for a trap? The story is trying to take Logan. I can still stop this. I need the clicker. I, uh, huh? Okay. Anderson, the trick. He has it now. Wake? I saw him this way in the other overlap. Okay, so I keep pausing because I don't want to like get attacked while I'm trying to like fig uh, figure this all out. Okay, so whenever she's in an overlap, she can see visions of Alan while he's in the dark place. That makes sense, because the last time she was in the overlap, she got to that little, like, open, like, forest area where you have the dead body of, um... Well, actually, no. That, that was actually Alan's side. Alan got to that area where you sort of saw the, uh, the body of, um... Of Nightingale. Sorry, I forgot his name for a second. He saw the body of Nightingale, and he was able to get a vision of Saga at that same time. So now it's sort of the same thing. So later on in Alan's story, we're going to get uh, pretty much her as she is pretty much like walking towards him almost. Like she's going to give it, he's going to get a vision of her walking him like this way pretty much. So interesting. Did we just loop? It's a loop. Just like before. The manuscript page. Mocha's funeral. Ilma Koskela stood in front of the small gathering of Coffee World employees and bikers. He read from a piece of paper. Mocha was a wonderful moose who deserves a place of honor in the Hall of the Calavella Knights. His skull will become the crown of the Grand Master. The dead brought back to life. There was polite applause. After the service, Ilmo had the body hauled off to be turned into moose steaks. Mulligan and Thornton were told to get the head cleaned. They both grabbed an antler. What the hell, Thornton? I got it, Mulligan. They brought the skull into the workshop to boil it and bleach it. They grumbled. Wanted to just get it fucking done. It was just a stupid animal. But I guess moose steak is never a mistake, huh? Again, I swear if we get attacked by a fucking moose, I'm done. <laughs> Is there anything new we can look at here? Because we uh we looped around pretty much, or is it just gonna be uh the same stuff? It looks like it's just the same. But we did find that manuscript page, which actually uh came in kind of handy.
dead end. Yeah. I was hoping something like that would be the key, but obviously not. Again, just looking around for any supplies. Nothing that I'm seeing. You know what I should probably do? Um, I should probably quick slot the uh, the flares. Because if I don't have healing items, at least I can have flares to try to use. Because I haven't used a single flare yet this entire playthrough. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't get through that. I need to look for another way through. Scared the shit out of me, dude. No dance parties without me. I keep looking around for like, uh, like supplies and stuff, and I'm still not seeing anything. We're just getting a ladder, so we're going in the right direction. Perfect. No? I'll take that back, thank you.
It's the fact that I can still hear them, but... I've already clearly defeated them. Where's the song coming from now? Back this way? No, this place flooded. Oh, here we go. How's that? Alright, so we're gonna go back around again, and then I'm pretty sure that other way is gonna be unblocked. Ready for jump scare? blood. Alan again. Trapped how? What does that mean? And the loop again. Only now it's changed. Now it's That damn song is playing again. There's blood everywhere. Nothing new that we can investigate in here. Bro, the controller is trembling. Even the controller is afraid of what's gonna happen. Obviously that third and final section that uh, was blocked off is going to be unblocked now that it went down there. No, but there is healing. You know what? 
these things. Okay, so they're shooting all around me, so I gotta be aware of that. Oh. Honestly, this is a good place to uh, cut it up because... If I engage in a boss battle before I uh, I split it up, then we're not gonna have enough time to complete it in this section. All right.